Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my airplane skincare routine and why I think that you should introduce an airplane skincare routine into your life as well. This is a video I have done long ago in the past. I think it's almost been two years since I uploaded my last airplane skincare routine. That's crazy. See? But as a soul who travels a lot in my adult life, I also grew up being on an airplane a lot of the time. My stepdad is a pilot and we took advantage of travel as a family. I feel like I've spent a good amount of my life on an airplane and a good amount of my life getting breakouts on airplanes too, which was super annoying. I have very dry, sensitive skin. And every time I get on an airplane, I break out. My skin freaks out, it's super dry. Airplanes use recycled air. There's a whole ton of, you know, hundreds of bodies sitting on the airplane and there's illnesses flying around ready to attack attack you. And so I have just learned to incorporate a skincare routine when I'm on the plane to help prevent any kind of breakouts, help prevent any illness as best as I may do. What? As much as I am able to on the plane. So that's why I started doing a skincare routine. That's why I think you should do a skincare routine too because airplanes are gross. Yay. This mainly applies to kind of long haul airplane rides. If you live in Canada, it takes like five hours to get anywhere across the country. The Vancouver Toronto flight is a very long flight. And then if you're, you know, doing anything overseas, I do my full skincare routine with like body and all that. Usually if the flight is like five hours plus, um, anything shorter than that will kind of depend and vary my skincare routine afterwards. So when I'm planning my skincare routine, I try to make it as easy and condensed as possible. I try to just put everything into one designated little makeup bag. This is a Charlotte Tilbury makeup bag. And this was what I packed with me on my recent three week trip. We were on a plane. Our travel days were about 30 hours in total between all of our flights and layovers and whatnot. And I actually didn't move anything around in this bag. This is everything that I packed with me on that plane. So I wanted to show you guys the airplane skincare routine that I recently used. We also filmed it in action on the airplane and I'll show you guys everything I kind of pack in here. So the first thing to note are the liquid restrictions. You know, there's a ton of travel size products that are available. Sephora and Shoppers Drug Mart have amazing travel size sections of a ton of products. And if you're shopping online, a lot of the time beside the full size product, it'll have the travel size product right beside it, which is fantastic. So I try and find travel size products of all of my favorite things. And I really focus on hydrating my skin because it can just get so dry. Even if you're not typically a dry skinned person, usually all of that gross recycled air will just suck the life and moisture out of your skin. So try to focus on hydrating your skin when you're going on the plane. I'm gonna walk you guys through the routine that I do now, show you everything that's in here. So the first thing I like to do when I get on the plane is to kind of sanitize myself and sanitize my area after flights, they don't typically do a deep clean in between flights. So you never know who is sitting in your seat beforehand. You never know what kind of grossness is lying on your seat or anything. So I usually take a wet wipe. These are wet ones and it kills germs. Look at that. <laughs> I take one of these, I kind of wipe myself down. And sometimes if I'm feeling extra clean, I will take a wipe and also wipe down my area and just use this to clean myself. If I'm feeling extra gross and dirty, I will also use a hand sanitizer and do that on top of it. Sometimes my hands are just a little bit too dry on an airplane to use hand sanitizer, but I will use that. Or you can just go to the bathroom and wash your hands before you do your skincare routine. Or you can just do this entire thing in the bathroom too. I typically like to do it when I'm sitting on the seat because I like to sit and soak in a sheet mask and I have done this no matter what I'm sitting in. If I'm sitting in economy or if I'm sitting in business class, no matter where I'm sitting, this skincare routine is happening. So that's not an excuse. My previous skincare routine was actually filmed in an economy. Seat. So I don't want no comments about my business class seat on this flight, okay? Okay. I mean, hey, if you're flying the first class Emirates and you get a shower, A++ for cleanliness. <laughs> Okay, so I like to clean myself. Then I go in with a makeup remover. The simple makeup remover wipes are my favorite. I almost never go onto an airplane with makeup on my face, just knowing that I'm gonna go do a skincare routine. I usually go to the airport barefaced, but if I do happen to have makeup on, I'll pack a little travel sized Bioderma or a micellar water and some cotton pads. I always steal the little packs of cotton pads from hotels and I'll keep that in my travel pouch. So if I have any makeup on my face, I will do that extra step. But if I'm just wiping my lotion off, I just pack my little travel size makeup remover wipe and I do a quick little cleanse of my skin. And then I go in with a sheet mask. I always try to use a very, very hydrating sheet mask. There's a ton of sheet masks that I've loved and that I use. The one I brought with me was this Lancome Advanced Genifique Hydrogel Melting Mask. This was the one I packed with me on my trip. I have a ton of these lying around right now. They're amazing, super hydrating. And I like to use a sheet mask, A, because they are very clean to use. You don't have to worry about anything dripping around and you can just throw it out. It's like a one-time use. 
so you're not packing any excess packaging in your carry-on. Second, I just love people's reactions around me, especially when you're uber super close to someone and you put a sheet mask on and you're just like, Hello. <laughs> Certain flight attendants, their reactions are always priceless. I just love to see how people react to the sheet mask life. And it's also just nice to sit in a sheet mask. There's something very, very relaxing about it. And it kind of just passes some time while I'm on the plane. So I always put a sheet mask on. I leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. And what I do when I actually open the sheet mask is I use the pouch for garbage. So any garbage that I use, like any of my makeup remover wipes, the wet ones, any excess packaging, I use this as my kind of garbage bag and that helps to keep the area clean. And that also helps if you're in a smaller, narrower seat too. It just uh, contains all the garbage. So while I have the sheet mask on, that's usually when I do all of my other things. So I will put my hand cream on. This is the Fresh Citron Moisturizing Hand Cream. I've been carrying this one around for a long time. I'll put my hand cream on and I will often do some other things. If it's a super long flight, I'll take this time to do my body care if it's a short flight. I don't usually worry too much about body stuff, but sometimes I apply some white strips, which are amazing. These ones are the sleep in ones. So if you're doing your skincare routine and then you're gonna pass out after, these are awesome. I have some vagina wipes. These are the travel packet always wipes. These are amazing. These smell so good. Like to do a little freshening. I always carry a pair of spare underwear on the plane. So I'll go and do this and then put my underwear on. And then also recently due to the Anna edit, I picked up these uni shower sheets, which were awesome for the underarms and just the whole area. If you get like sticky and sweaty, these are nice. I just do a quick wipe down. If you don't want to get out of your seat, you can just rub around yourself and they smell really delicious. And I just like to do a little body clean while the sheet mask is on. And then once we're feeling all fresh, I'll remove the sheet mask and just press in all the excess. And then I like to use a night cream, especially if I'm on a long haul flight, I use a night cream because most of the time when I do this skincare routine, I'm going right to sleep after. So I like to put a night cream on and let my skin soak and ooze in its glorious glowiness while I am snoozing on the plane or just while I'm chilling on the plane, I wanna use something really nice and thick and super moisturizing. Lately, I've been using the Ren Evercom Overnight Recovery Balm, and this one's actually a really nice small package in itself. You don't even need a travel size because the regular size is really small as well. Um, the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask is really great, and they have an amazing travel size as well. I don't usually bring any face oils or any additional products. I'll just do that. If I'm on a shorter flight and I need to apply makeup, sometimes I'll have a separate makeup bag of a quick makeup, then I'll use my Day Cream or the Cora Organics Noni Glow Balm, and I actually pack this one anyway as well as this because if I just was getting dry throughout the flight I would just put this on my face and it was a lot easier and less messy than applying a face cream so I have that and then I also have my lip balm I packed with me the milk makeup kush lip glaze this one was fantastic and this was the lip balm I used with me on this flight and that was it for the skincare routine it's really nice and quick super hydrating will leave your skin feeling very very glowy and fresh and will hopefully prevent any kind of airplane related breakouts and you know hopefully keep you nice and clean and will prevent you from catching anyone else's diseases that are on the plane. <laughs> Other things I like to carry with me are my deodorant. This is the Mitchum deodorant. I also have a YSL Black Opium Rollerball. This is one of my favorite scents ever. Mm. They also have a spray version, but I've had a horrific moment with a face spray, which is also why I didn't include a face spray in this airplane skincare routine, which I have previously included, but I've axed the face spray and I've also ditched the spray perfumes and gone for the rollerball because I can't remember which face spray it was, but I packed like a little travel size face spray with me on the airplane and I was spraying my face, spritzing my face after completing my skincare routine. And the woman behind me in the seat freaked out and was like, oh my God, what are you spraying? I'm allergic to eucalyptus. And she like freaked out and I was absolutely horrified. And I was like, oh my God, I'm sorry. Like I, it's just a little spray. I don't know what to do. <laughs> anyway, she freaked out due to her allergies and I was like, cool, noted. I am never spraying anything on an airplane again. So be warned, be cautious of people's allergens. Um, yeah, so that's why I have a rollerball. Speaking of spray, <laughs> I would do this in the bathroom only. I actually don't know why I packed this. I think that was a mistake, but usually I carry a dry shampoo to apply either on the plane if we're like just about to land or for when I get off the plane, I'll go into the bathroom and just kind of spray some dry shampoo in my hair to give it some life. And then additionally, I have some Kleenex, some tissues and a Band-Aid. And I also have a single use Advil because I get a lot of headaches. And that my friends is my airplane skincare routine. Those are all of the things that I pack with me in my little carry-on skincare routine and all of those things to keep my skin fresh and glowing while I'm on the airplane. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have 
any products that you take with you on the airplane to do your little airplane skincare routine. If you have never done an airplane skincare routine, let me know if this has convinced you if you're going to incorporate an airplane skincare routine into your travel plans. So that's it for me, folks. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.